Bhagavad Gita as well as the Upanishads, particularly the Upanishads, are the record of the results of the experiments done by our rishis in the subjective sphere. Subjective sphere means looking into their own mind, intelligence and finally that what is that I, who am I? In the process, whatever they have discovered, they have written down. Now, as a science, I said that it has all the characteristics of, the sci of science because science must be experimentally verifiable. Experimentally verifiable. If anything is spoken of in the science, you can do the experiment now and verify that this is true. If it is not verifiable, it will not be accepted or the theory will have to be changed. Whenever we get into some experiment, whether the previous theory is not holding, we go in for a new theory. Those who have some idea will know that Newtonian theory, whatever was there, after some time when we had experiments in the level of very small particles and very high velocity particles, those theories had to be modified. The Newtonian physics became Einstein's, Einstein's model. Then further changes had come, relativistic quantum, quantum mechanics, relativistic quantum mechanics like that. Whenever more and more experimental data are available, we are changing the theory, suiting so that they explain the all, the entire gamut of our experimental data. But the experimentally, whatever we get, it must be repeatable, it must be verifiable. Now, you may say that this spirituality is not verifiable, it is depending on each person. I have a very strong logic in that. The in spirituality, what is the object of experimentation? In science, we are experimenting with the objects outside us. So, they, those objects you are repeating and finding out that it is true. In spirituality, the experimental object is our own subject. You understand? So, each human being, each life is one experimental object here. When we are trying to verify, we have to follow whatever they have written. We have to perform the experiment ourselves and we have to find out whether it is true or not because it is not an object available before us as different from us. It is about our real identity. So, whatever the Upanishads have written, to verify it, a person will have to do the perform the experiment himself and it has to be a first-hand discovery for it. That is why we say that it is a realized knowledge. Without the realization, it will remain like a picture of fire. Because it is about our own subject, about our own identity. Unless we discover it first-hand, it will not be meaningful. <laughs> <laughs>